Welcome back to the channel guys, Siobhan Beckford here. I know the title of this video grabbed your attention, a camera not worth buying in 2022. And in this video, I will be specifically talking about the Canon 6D Mark II. Let's go. So before I start ranting, trashing and talking all negatives about this camera, even though I won't be talking all negatives, I'm going to give Caesar what's due to Caesar. So I'll also be talking about the good stuff for this camera. I will go through the specifications so you guys can have a feel of what this camera has to offer if you don't know the Canon 6D Mark II, which is a very popular camera, especially for Canon users in the USA. So I'm going to go over the specs so you can see what this camera is offering right off the bat without any lens or any rigs set up to the camera just the camera straight out of the box specs yeah let's go all right so the main features of the canon 6d mark ii is a 26 megapixel full frame cmos sensor an iso range of 100 to 40,000, which can expand from 50 to 102,400. also a 3 inch fully articulated screen an optical viewfinder 6.5 frames per second continuous shooting full hd at 60 frames per second that's the maximum resolution by the way 1080 at 60 frames per second built-in wireless and also gps the camera by itself comes in at around 765 grams and also have a weather sealed body now the canon eos 6d mark ii was announced back in 2017 on the 29th of june in 2017 to be exact it's a DSLR, not a mirrorless. And back then in 2017, a lot of mirrorless cameras were rocking the camera market from popular brands such as Nikon, Sony, and Panasonic. Now let's go into the image quality and specifications this camera has to offer. Now the minimum shutter speed of the Canon 6D Mark II is 30 seconds and it has a maximum mechanical shutter speed of one over 4,000th of a second. It also has shutter priority, aperture priority, manual exposure mode, and also a fully automatic mode. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is a full frame image sensor, 26 megapixels, and as such, you can expect image of resolution of up to 6,240 by 4,160 pixels. It has a maximum native ISO of 40, and can boost that ISO to 102,400. Now the minimum boosted ISO is 50, but the native minimum ISO is 100. The Canon 6D Mark II only has one SD card slot, has a recording limit of 30 minutes, and is selling at a whopping $1,399 on Amazon currently today. Now this is downright disrespectful if you ask me. You can get a lot of awesome cameras on the market with that amount of money and also putting a little extra onto that money you can get a stunning mirrorless camera. Bear in mind the dynamic range on the Canon 6D Mark II is not the best. It's not the best in today's date and you can get a camera with 1500 USD which is giving you amazing specs, which is giving you 4K, which is giving you a good dynamic range, two SD card slots. I can go on and on and on with the flaws with the 6D Mark II. Now I know a lot of persons will say but this camera is from 2017. It's five years old but come on, it's currently selling for almost 1400 USD on Amazon. That's a lot of money. If you have around $2,000, you can go get the Panasonic Lumix S5 with the kit lens 20 to 60 millimeter. And the Panasonic Lumix S5 is giving you 4K up to 60 frames per second, 10 bit IBIS, and the dynamic range, the photo quality, the video quality on the Panasonic Lumix S5 is amazing. The Panasonic Lumix S5 also has two SD card slots which the Canon 6D Mark II doesn't. You can also get the Sony A7C, which is giving you 4K. Amazing auto tracking, like, oh my God, the autofocus on the Sony cameras nowadays are amazing. You are getting, um, yeah. 
Like, yeah, I get it, it's an old camera, but compared to what competitions are offering nowadays, I think they should really lower the price, even though a lot of persons may argue that back when it was released, it was a beast, and as such, the price remains because of its value and the worth it had back then. It's like a vintage camera or a collectible item currently, but I know a lot of professionals who still use the Canon 6D Mark II and hug their dear Canon so dearly. And and you have a lot of creators out there who are saying oh it's not the equipment it's how you use the equipment well the equipment has a lot to do with how you execute whatever you're doing because if you have a 12 megapixel camera and you want to get a high resolution photo to make a billboard your equipment is not going to execute that you're obviously going to need a high resolution camera so your equipment does count and a lot of persons will also say that the quality that it's pushing is amazing and you can utilize it to do this and you can utilize it to do that but at the same time yeah the quality is amazing for them but the price you're paying for that camera you can get something that is way more amazing and friendly to your pocket and future proofing because if you get a more recent camera you will get more support you will get a wide array of lenses in the future because if a manufacturer release a camera this year they will continue making lenses for that camera in the future opposed to a camera which was made 10 years ago they will discontinue making stuff for that camera so they can focus on their newer lineups which Canon is currently doing they're focusing on their mirrorless lineup such as the Canon R lineup which is I think their only mirrorless lineup to be honest sorry for that so taking your money and go buying a 6D Mark II in 2022 is a big waste of time. I'd rather convince you if you're a Canon fan to go buy the Canon EOS R even though I hate that camera as well. That's trash in my opinion. Yeah, I'm saying it. The Canon EOS R in 2022 is trash. There's so much more cameras out there that are better than the Canon EOS R such as the Sony A7S III even though I think the Sony A7S III is a bit more expensive you have the Canon EOS R5 which is better than the base R you have the Canon EOS R6 which I think is better than the base R I think you have the Sony A7S IV you have the Panasonic Lumix S5 the Panasonic Lumix S1 H you have the Panasonic Lumix S1 you have the Panasonic Lumix S1R and those are all better than the original Canon EOS R so I don't think it is worth wasting your money on the Canon 6D Mark II unless you're collecting those old cameras because you know DSLR they're going extinct and so if you want to get your hands on a good old DSLR that was good back then and put it on your shelf as souvenir yeah be my guest but I'm not that kind of guy I'd rather go buy some new equipment so I can put them on my shelf and use them to make back some money yeah I'm that kind of guy don't get me wrong though if you believe that the Canon 6D Mark II is a camera for you there are a few perks that can be utilized to make the Canon 6D Mark II a sweet deal to go pick up in store if you want to buy it new or you can get it pre-owned from someone who's selling out their old camera stocks or looking to upgrade to something else or they're selling their old 6D Mark II. There's a lot of lenses available for the Canon 6D Mark II, a lot of grips, some accessories, so on and so forth. There's a lot of equipment, lenses and stuff out there that are compatible this camera because it is a very popular camera most of my photographer friends utilize the Canon 6D Mark II whether in the past or still have one currently which they use occasionally for taking photos but most of my photography friends that I know currently nowadays are all mirrorless shooters they're either using the Sony a7 III, Sony a7S III, Sony a7 IV, the Canon EOS R, the R5, RP they're all mirrorless shooters but I'm one of the only ones currently in my circle who's using Panasonic. I feel kind of left out sometimes, but I also feel kind of unique because I have such amazing video and photo qualities, even though they may argue that, oh, your autofocus, it's so icky and blah, blah, blah. If you don't have good focus, then your amazing image quality won't matter. But I'm trying to perfect my manual focusing skills. So let's hope that 
that fix the Panasonic autofocus. <clears throat> Panasonic, could you please start using phase detection instead of contrast detection? <clears throat> I know contrast is more accurate, but phase is faster. Yeah. Well, anyways, that's my rant on the Panasonic. Yeah. So before I close the video, I'm going to show you guys a few samples that I use the 6D Mark II to capture and you guys can determine whether or not you want to go waste 1400 USD on the 6D Mark II or you want to upgrade to something new. Get it? 6D Mark II or upgrade to something new. Well anyways, check these samples out guys and I hope you enjoy them. So guys, I hope you enjoyed those videos and also I hope you got some good intel and advice from my ranting and maybe not so biased opinion up towards the camera. I know I, I was very biased towards the camera. I was trying to give you guys my perspective from a photographer to a photographer or an upcoming photographer kind of advice and opinions that's what I was doing I'm not trying to shade on any brand or anything I would love a Canon R5 I'm not die-hearted to any brand per se I'm just giving you guys the facts on what I think about that camera from using it and also the price the price is what cuts me the most so if you want to go and buy the Canon 6D Mark II or if you guys want my honest opinion on if you should buy the Canon 6D Mark II yeah you guys can it's a preference thing you can go and pick up the Canon no that thing is trash don't buy it don't buy the Canon 6D Mark II in 2022 go buy something else go buy the Canon EOS R R5 R6 RP go buy something else don't buy the Canon 6D Mark II because a lot of creators at the end of their video they may say this in the title but when it comes to the end of the video oh it's up to preference you can you can do it if you're doing this you know I'm straightforward don't buy the Canon 6D Mark II peace out <laughs>